Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to our webinar here today with VoIP Supply and Net Carrier. Thanks very much for uh, joining us today. Uh, this is Joe Shanahan here from VoIP Supply, and uh, we'll also have Laura Bella from Net Carrier hopping on here shortly to talk about the Net Carrier platform and what they have to offer for us here um, as resellers. Um, as we're going through the webinar, please, um, you'll see down in the right-hand bottom corner, you'll see the Q&A button. And um, what we're going to ask you to do, if you do have any questions as we go through, just, just, just put them through on that Q&A button rather than on the chat, because then we can, uh, we can um, get all those questions together. And if we don't get to all of them by the end, we can um, you know, answer them individually later. But uh, we do ask that you use the Q&A button to ask those questions as we're going along. And uh, like I said, by the end of the presentation, we'll try to get through all of those questions. Uh, just a little bit about you with us here. Uh, we have been in business in the VoIP world since 2002. Um, you know, thousands and thousands of customers that we've dealt with over those years, both end users and resellers, service providers, really all types of uh, VoIP uh, industry customers that we have dealt with and uh, still doing so today. Um, our experts that we've had on staff here, um, you know, over 10 years, in some case over 15 years of experience in the VoIP world, so definitely well-versed in every, uh, you know, aspect of the VoIP technology, uh, things that have gone on in the past and things that are uh, coming along in the future as well. Um, the breadth of our catalog, you know, if you look at our website, you know, it's uh, pages and pages, uh, 5,000 plus products, uh, 60 of manufacturers uh, at least, um, all leading manufacturers in the industry, and uh, you can get them all through us here at VoIP Supply. And um, we're located in western New York outside Buffalo, in case you uh, didn't know about that. Some of our programs here that we, uh, that we offer to our customers, um, obviously we cut our teeth in the hardware and provisioning side of things. Um, representing all those manufacturers and products that we have uh, and provisioning all of those products, especially phones and ATAs for our service provider customers. Uh, something recently that we have added is our rental program, uh, which we have uh, our device as a service uh, offering to our reseller and service provider customer base so that, that they can offer that to their customers, uh, loop in the payments into one monthly payment uh, for the service and for the hardware and, uh, you know, increase that, that monthly uh, residual income that, that uh, comes your way. Our CloudSpan Marketplace, that's a single, a single place to shop for VoIP providers for our end users. So uh, we have a lot of our customers that are involved in that marketplace. We have a lot of resellers building their monthly recurring revenue by using that program and obviously um, realizing the discounts and things like that that we can offer as a wholesaler of the equipment. Our fulfillment services, some of the leading um, uh, service providers in the industry, we do their provisioning for them, shipping directly to their customers, blind ship, so they don't ever have to even touch the equipment. Uh, we take care of that. We have def uh, several different ways of bringing in the orders to our system getting them out same day. Um, I think we can do up to 5,000 units per day uh, right out of our warehouse, um, provisioned, uh, tested, and shipped all in the same day. Uh, lastly, our refresh and reclaim program, which is uh, our used equipment uh, buying and selling. So we will uh, you know, offer customers to buy back equipment, help them get some uh, get some of the money back for that uh, equipment that they're not using anymore, and then use that towards uh, something new. And uh, also for customers that are just looking to save a little money by using uh, certified refreshed equipment. And uh, again, here's another slide that talks about that. So um, if someone's selling off, you know, used equipment or excess equipment, we will buy that at a fair market value. Uh, we will recondition it through our 10-step process put that back in our inventory and sell it at uh, greatly reduced prices for uh, customers that don't mind using a, uh, a refurbished and um, you know, still warranted product. So that works out very well for both sides. 
for our resellers, we have our reseller portal, um, which you can go in and get all the, um, you know, any marketing materials you might need, the, um, you know, data sheets, product information, you know, industry updates, blogs, uh, you name it. There's a, a wide range of uh, information that's available through our reseller portal, uh, something that we set up on our back end once you become a reseller customer of ours. Uh, you know, the average customer just going to our website would not be able to get into the reseller portal. So this is something that, uh, you know, we have exclusively for our resellers to go in there and, um, you know, utilize any of that information that they might find useful. Our reseller advantage, you know, again, uh, we partner with um, all the top manufacturers and, uh, you know, coupled with all of our services that we offer, um, you know, high residuals, the equipment discounts, um, our expert sales team and our, our technical teams, um, you know, allows, you know, um, our partners to get together and, um, you know, really grow their business and strengthen their position in the marketplace. So, uh, you know, to join our team, you can, um, you know, contact me. That's my uh, contact information there in the bottom right, my email address and direct line, and, um, you know, available for any kind of consulting that you might need, solution design, and, of course, uh, you know, get you that ever-important uh, reseller pricing that, um, that everybody needs to stay competitive. So with that, I will uh, hand it off to Laura from Net Carrier, who will be talking about their platform and um, opportunities for agents and things like that. So Laura, I'll let you take it over from here. So welcome everyone. I'm Laura Bella, the Director of Sales and Marketing at Net Carrier. I'm going to go through a little bit about Net Carrier as a company, um, some of the services we offer, the benefits of using Net Carrier and our solutions go over our MCPDX platform, some of the features, um, the process if you move forward with an order, and then um, our SD-WAN offering that we have for our customers. So why Net Carrier? Um, so we've been in business since 1996. We're a national company. We have that local support and VIP treatment for our customers. We have 24-7, 365 customer support. We do not outsource our, our uh, tech support team. And they're tier two support that you would see in most companies. Um, they can log into your server, your equipment, and troubleshoot, make any changes that they may need that you may need. Um, so they're a little more certified and uh, more of experts, more of they have more of an expertise than most call centers. We aren't just a cloud provider, so we are an FCC regulated carrier. We operate as a public utility company. We're experienced in deploying voice services. We have a redundant carrier grade network. There's a lot of VoIP cloud providers out there um, that aren't a full-fledged carrier and offer, um, you know, the experience that NetCare offers as a carrier. We can order, bill, and open trouble tickets for our customers when it comes to um, deploying broadband connections. So a lot of customers, you know, don't like the multiple bill, multiple vendor uh, scenario, so they'll ask us, hey, uh, if we sign up with with voice services for you where will you rebuild and manage our broadband connection like a Comcast or Fios. Um, so we absolutely do that and we'll open trouble tickets so they don't have to reach out to that broadband provider directly. So that's a big benefit for a lot of our uh, customers and partners as well. We have a flat organization, so we have no board of directors. We are a privately held, debt-free company. Um, our founder and EVP are in the office every single day. Our founder, um, who obviously developed the company, is also heavily involved in the development, the continued development of our features and product set that we offer. We have a town manager support team um, as well as back office sales support. So we have quick turnaround times for proposals, contracts, et cetera, if you need anything. You know, if, if myself or um, some of our other town managers are traveling, you have the support of um, the rest of the team. We do have a single point of contact for all of our projects. So any orders, sorry, any orders that come in, you'll have a project manager assigned. They're going to walk the customer through start to finish. And then we also send technicians out to um, survey the customer's infrastructure, make sure it's uh, completely set up how it needs to be. We'll come in again for the installation and then test and turn up as well. We do have an agent installer program, which we'll get into a little later. 
um, but if you're someone that's very technical and that's norm that's used to WAVE deployment or phone system deployment, you have the ability to install any customers that you sell and make some additional revenue on that side. Um, and then a majority of our management team, um, you know, our directors and above have been here for 10 plus years. I mean, myself, I've been here for eight years, so I'm not quite there. Um, but you'll see that a lot throughout the company. It gives you a little more peace of mind. It's not, you know, one day you have a channel manager, the next day they're gone. Uh, a lot of us have moved, uh, kind of come in the company at, um, you know, entry level position and sort of moved our way up. You'll see that a lot. Um, we like to grow from within. Net Carrier as a whole has grown organically over the years. We um, haven't acquired or been acquired by anyone. Um, so, our Net Carrier services, some of the solutions that we offer, we have our NCloud hosted PBX service. So, this is a completely proprietary VoIP platform. It's not Broadsoft, MetaSwitch. Um, any of those. This is all developed in-house over the past two years, so we have control over the development. We don't have high licensing costs. If you need something customized or, you know, there's a feature development that needs to be addressed, it can be easily done because it's our, it's our development team. With that solution, we have contact center offerings, and we'll get into um, a little bit of the two offerings that we have. You can have sort of an SMB offering and then more of an enterprise. We have an SD-WAN solution that we've partnered with a company called Zero Outages. They're, they're a company that strictly sells SD-WAN solutions. So what we've done is we've partnered with them and we actually rebuild and manage that connection, that solution for you as well if you have one provider. Um, but we wanted to partner with somebody that was an expert in SD-WAN solutions instead of developing a whole new uh, SD-WAN solution. We also sell traditional carrier services, so PRI, um, SIP trunks, analog services. Um, you can bundle that with either a broadband or a fiber optic solution or a dedicated fiber service. Um, so it doesn't necessarily all have to be VoIP. You can do traditional services as well. We customize the solution to fit exactly how the customer needs. Normally what we do is we have sort of a discovery discussion. You know, we can be involved or if you want to have that initial discussion, um, we can also give you some, you know, pre-sale questionnaire that you can ask customers to identify, you know, what the best fit is. Um, but we make sure we sort of have that initial discussion, find out exactly what the business needs are, and customize the solution to fit uh, the business. And again, we send a technician out for our deployments, um, which is very unique in the industry. Some providers do that, um, but we do like to have someone on site. We will train the entire staff on how to use the phones, the portal, the entire system. We also have nice uh, videos and documentation um, as well for future people, future employees to use and um, even just for refresher training. And we offer sales support throughout the entire process. So whether you need an engineer to do a webinar um, or a meeting, come on site, you know, we'll provide any support that you would like. So the benefits of a cloud communication system, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are for already familiar with some of the benefits, but a lot of the things that we like to highlight when presenting to a customer are some of these. So you have the disaster recovery. Um, there's no on-site PBX that's affected by power outages. All the maintenance and software upgrades are included, so there's no, those, there's no uh, ongoing maintenance costs to manage the system. So you can sort of save on internal resources and um, you know, having to pay someone else to basically come out if you need to make a change. You have that predictable monthly charge. So, um, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with the maintenance um, of the system. There's not a charge every time you want to adjust something um, on the system. It's all included. You can multitask and collaborate with your coworkers through instant messaging using the mobile app for, um, for people that are on the road a lot and want to communicate with the office. And then you can also have presence notifications where you can see if someone's on the phone if you're trying to reach someone. It also gives you the flexibility of working from anywhere. Um, it's easily scalable, so if you're a smaller company now but you're looking to grow, it's easy to add users um, to the system and not have to pay for this large upgrade of equipment. 
All your system changes can be done via a web portal for remote management. Again, if you don't want to do that, you can call into our technical support staff. They can make the changes. But any auto attendance, call forwarding, music on hold, you can make all those changes yourself. And of course, you know, one of the, one of the great benefits of it is being able to connect most, multiple offices together without that expensive um, infrastructure cost. So having an MPLS network with all these keys and fiber, uh, you can operate as one office on a cloud communication system and extension dial um, as needed. So some of the differentiators of our NCloud Connect VoIP platform. So we have full-featured contact service solutions. Like I mentioned, we have two. Um, they have reports, monitoring, and integrations, um, a lot of add-ons, and uh, I believe the next slide will sort of get into breaking them down. To manage deployments like I spoke about, so we do the 24-7 network monitoring, on-site installs, dedicated project manager. As far as the platform technology goes, it's completely proprietary. We've developed it to make sure that it optimizes bandwidth. So, um, you know, things like phone presence and um, speed dials and parks. You know, a lot of times they'll use a lot of messaging and they'll use a lot of your bandwidth, um, which means it increases latency and can cause call quality issues. So we made sure on the system um, that all the features, um, you know, aren't using up a lot of your bandwidth. Uh, that's important. And then, you know, we're continually to develop the features uh, of the system, and um, that's the nice part about having our own. We can kind of control what features are next and um, sort of what the market is looking for. You know, because a lot of times uh, VoIP providers will have all these 10,000 different features, and really when you when you get down to it, a lot of customers just want to make and receive calls and maybe use them into the messaging and mobile apps and don't need all the crazy bells and whistles. So um, it's important to have that control. Features. You know, instant messaging, mobile app, the desktop faxing, utilizing the web portal, you know, all those uh, normal VoIP features are available as well. So we have two seat options, our Unify seat and our Unify Plus seat. Um, really the difference between the Unify Plus seat is you get the desktop faxing included. You have the ability to do ad hoc on-demand call recording. So if you're on a call, you can click a star code and start the recording. Um, you get a conference bridge that you can have five participants in. You also get a toll-free number and an auto, auto attendant with that. Um, you've got the personal auto attendant and then your own DID number. So that's the Unify Plus. And these run, and the Unify seat um, has your standard features, so your desktop integration, your instant messaging, the mobile app use, the web portal, the call forwarding, et cetera. Um, as far as pricing goes, you're looking at $20 to $23 for the seat. Um, so it's pretty cost competitive in the industry. Our Connect mobile app, if you want to take a look in the iTunes or Google Play Store and, and Google, um, I'm sorry, and search for NetCarrier and Cloud Connect Mobile, you can see some screenshots of our mobile application and some of the features that um, are available. So obviously you can send and receive calls through the mobile application. You can extension dial with anyone in the office. You can check all of your voicemail messages and listen to them. You can access your speed dials and phone presence of the people at the office. You can do internal video calling. You can manage your call forwarding. It does have a nice unique feature where you can do the QR code configurator. So if you log into your web portal, you can hold your mobile app up to the code and it will automatically register your SIP credentials and log you into the mobile app. And then a nice feature is they also, uh, the app also allows you access to your corporate and phone directory and it separates them out. So you can sort of scroll through your phone contacts and uh, your corporate contacts as well. So just to kind of go through the equipment and install, so as far as the equipment goes, so you can provide your own equipment through VoIP Supply um, as well as install your services. So if you were someone that wanted to sell a solution and also install it, what would happen is we would, you would, have, you, we would have you shadow a NetCarry certified technician for your first install so you can sort of get the lay of the land. And then we provide you documentation for um, you know, what you have to test when you go out and install. Um, what information you have to look at for site survey. We sort of give you all those documentations 
and then you also have a hotline, so it kind of sets you up to be able to, um, you know, have a smooth uh, installation process for your next install. So like I said, um, you can provide your own phones. You don't need to get the phones through Net Carrier. Um, obviously, you can get them through Voice Supply. Um, we use Polycom phones. Um, so we're strictly a Polycom shop. In the future, we might be adding some additional phones, but um, the Polycom is, is a pretty solid phone for us, and so we've continued to uh, support and maintain that. So any of the VVX model phones, um, obviously you would need a power supply if you don't have a network switch that is PoE capable. Um, you can provide your own network power Ethernet switch, or NetCare can provide that. It's really kind of up to you. Um, because of the nice relationship with voice supply and they provide the equipment, you guys are already partners, um, you know, my suggestion would be get that additional revenue, charge whatever you want to the customer as far as um, switches and phones go, and, um, you know, NetCare will make sure everything's configured, um, but you guys can kind of handle the, the equipment side. The devices that we put on site, besides the Polycom phone and obviously the customer's network switch, would be our uh, managed router. So we use AdTrend devices. It's a monthly rental fee of $25. We deploy it for every customer. If it's a smaller customer, like three users, you might not deploy it. But it does allow for 24-7 um, you know, monitoring and also provides a little bit of prioritization of voice traffic and visibility for any troubleshooting. Um, so we do, it, it is important to uh, have the router on site um, for especially large deployments. So our contact center solution, we have two versions, a contact center light and contact center enterprise. Our light version is completely developed by us. So if you have a busy receptionist or a lot of ring groups and hunt groups and you have a sort of a moderate to high call volume, um, the contact center light is a nice feature, is a nice solution for you. So you get a lot of the features and functionality of an enterprise system, but it's not the high, high price tag. So you still get the call recording, reporting, you can prioritize important client calls. You have supervisor functionality, so you can listen, whisper, barge in on conversations. And you don't see that a lot in the industry with a contact center light solution, or a lot of people might call this a call queuing, and it's more advanced than a call queuing. Um, so it gives you a lot of those features that you would see in an enterprise solution. We are running a promotion that you get a free month of the NCloud Connect um, light seats on qualifying orders. Um, obviously, anything over 10 users would be qualifying and using standard pricing. Um, so that is a promotion that we're offering right now. Our contact center enterprise solution, we partner with a company called Telex. Their sole focus is <clears throat> contact center solutions. So um, we're directly trunked into their network, and it's fully integrated with our hosted PBX platform. So if someone wants a full-fledged contact center solution, this is the way to go. Um, in the industry, the average contact center enterprise seat price is probably around the 150 and up. We're under that, at about 111. But again, this is going to be for your highest call volume, call center um, environment. It has skills-based routing, CRM integration. It has a web and desktop client to manage all your calls coming in. It has supervisor functionality, extensive reporting. Um, you can have chat and SMS queues and email features. So there's a lot more involved in that. And again, you're gonna you're gonna want to utilize that for sort of your high call volume uh, customers. So our SD WAN solution, like I mentioned earlier, we partner with zero outages. So as far as RSD WAN, you know, there's there's a multitude of options, but um, a majority of the highlighted features that we kind of present to customers are, first of all, you get one bill um, from that carrier for this service as well as the voice services with us. You can do site-to-site -site connectivity to reduce network latency, or you can back up your services to the cloud for a hybrid network. That's the unique thing about zero outages um, SD WAN solution is that you can have sort of a hybrid network. You have network diagnostic tools. Um, they use a portal called Zoom where you can manage all the way down to the IP address, exactly what each device is doing, whether they're streaming, what they're doing on the internet. Uh, so it's, that's a nice diagnostic tool. It can do intelligent WAN failover, and it doesn't matter any it doesn't matter what connection you're using, whether it's a Comcast or a Verizon connection. Uh, it doesn't matter. It can fail them over. 
it has dynamic uh, QoS and bandwidth aggregation, so it makes sure it basically load balances both of your connections and makes sure that it's utilizing, um, you know, the bandwidth as as um, I lost my train of thought. Um, it basically load balances both of the connections, so if one of them is kind of lacking, it'll kind of pick up and run your traffic to the other one. It obviously has your firewalling capability, so you can do things like content filtering. Um, they also have a ton of add-on um, features as well, like uh, solar winds extension, extent, um, solar winds reporting, where you can do um, a lot more extensive reporting on your network. And then there's 24-7 network monitoring of all of your connections on site. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, being aware if there's an outage or anything like that. Just to kind of go through the process of what happens once an order is signed. So, um, well, I guess let me kind of start from the beginning. As far as the pre-sale side goes, um, you would reach out to either Joe or uh, you reach out to Joe, and Joe would engage me. Um, we would kind of talk through the solution, you know, what the customer is exactly looking for, company name, address, et cetera. Um, sometimes we'll put together a preliminary quote or we'll have a discovery kickoff, kickoff call. Um, we'll put together a quote. Our quote turnaround time is same day. As long if it's a big solution or it needs some custom pricing, um, it might be, you know, 48 hours. But we try to get um, everything turned around pretty quickly. And then from there, it's a matter of if you want us to be involved in the selling process or if you want to kind of take it yourself, um, we can be available and engineers can be available for webinars um, and anything you may need on that side. So once the order is actually signed, um, the team kind of goes through, the project managers go through this process where they're, you know, pulling the CSRs, they're having an introduction call, they're ordering any circuits if it's applicable, they're having their configuration call, putting together their user list, user list, um, you know, going over any outstanding info. They'll actually put together a workbook with all the user information, line list, all of that. And then go through the installation of the circuit, survey, you know, network configuration, um, building and testing the server, and then scheduling install and training and, and go live. So um, with all the orders, you get sort of a step-by-step -step email um, for where you are in the process. So uh, we try to keep all the communications with uh, yourself and the customer um, up to date as, they, as we go. Again, here's my contact information as well as Joe's. Um, I would reach out to Joe if you're interested in any of the solutions that we offer or you would rather or you'd like to just have a one-on-one -on -one training um, and sort of even a demo of our VoIP platform. I'm uh, more than happy to schedule that. All right, I think it's time for our Q&A. Yep, ready for that. Uh, I do have a couple here that have come through. Uh, the first one is asking, how many site visits do you do for a standard deployment? Yep, so for um, 10 and up users, we still do the um, three site visits, so we come out for the install, I'm sorry, the survey, the install and test and turn up. Um, anything under that, we'll do two site visits. So um, it really kind of depends on how many users you have, but um, for the higher level deployments, we do, do still do three site visits. Okay, great. All right, another one came through here. Um, do you use a fax portal for outbound faxing? So we have an electronic faxing solution. Uh, you use the portal to fax out. You can also do custom um, fax cover pages, which is really cool because a lot of companies, um, you know, when they send out faxes, they have to have different, you know, uh, letterheads and so forth. So use the portal for faxing out, and then when you when you receive a fax, you can get it in your email as well in the portal, and it keeps sort of a log of all the faxes that went out um, in the portal as well. Okay, great. All right, I got another one here. It says, why would a customer want contact center enterprise over contact center light? So contact center light is going to be more for your SMB users. Um, you know, maybe they don't want all the additional extensive reports, and maybe they don't need the, you know, chat queues and all of that. 
um, but they do want the functionality to maybe have a busy, busy receptionist, and um, they just need a, you know, a, kind of a more organized approach to their incoming calls. The contact center light is going to be a good fit for them, um, and they're going to be sort of a moderate call volume. And then, you know, your your contact center enterprise is going to be for, uh, you know, super high call volume, someone that has, you know, a big call center, and they need those more extensive reports and added um, features and CRM integration and that sort of add-on. Okay, great. Um, this one is asking uh, kind of a general question here. Where can your where can you deploy services? So we can do anywhere in the United States. Anywhere in the U.S. Okay. All right. And as a reseller, how involved do I need to be in the implementation process? So that's really up to you, the partner. Um, a lot of customers like a lot of partners like to be CC'd on all of the communication so they can sort of um, engage when they need to. And some like to be the single point of contact for other customers. The control is really up to uh, the agent how how you want to handle that. Okay. Is there a mobile only user? For someone that doesn't need a desk phone, mobile only. Yeah, so um, a lot of customers have sort of a, like, say a real estate agent or a sales rep, they're constantly on the road, they're never at the office. We do have a Connect Mobile seat um, where they can utilize all the features of the Unify seat, but they don't have their own physical desk phone. Okay, great. Uh, here's one on pricing. How flexible can you be with pricing? So we already have built-in promotions that we offer um, based on the quantity of users you have. Um, you know, if you have 25 to 49, you get an X amount of price, 50 or more, you get an X amount of price. So we do have already very competitive promotional pricing from that sense. Um, and then if you're looking for additional, um, you know, additional discounts or anything like that, we obviously do need to understand sort of, uh, you know, the competitive situation that we're in, where we kind of need to be at, um, and then we're always open to looking and seeing if um, if we can hit what the customer is looking for. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Uh, looks like I have one last one here. Uh, do you provide support for customer demos? Yeah. So... If you would like a webinar for any of your potential customers, um, we'll also even do on-site meetings, obviously depending on you know where it's located and how big, large the opportunity. We're located in Lansdale, which is right outside of Philadelphia in, in Pe Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, so we are more than happy to kind of come on site for any um, demonstrations, but then we also do webinars with our sales engineers um, and go through all the features and functionality of the system, so you do have that support if needed. Okay, awesome. Uh, let me see here. Um, yep, yeah, okay, I guess that looks like, uh, yeah, that's it for the questions that have come through. Uh, so, um, yeah, thank you, Laura, for all, all that great information. Awesome, uh, awesome presentation. Um, always love working with Net Carrier. Um, and so to everyone out there, thanks for joining us here today. We're going we're gonna to end on that. Um, you did have uh, Laura and my contact information as well. We will be sending out all the slides from the presentation today to all of you. And uh, so you'll have all that. And there will also be a recording of the presentation that's going to be sent out. Hopefully within the next few days, the marketing team will put that together. Uh, the actual recording and, and send that out. So, uh, again, thanks for joining us here today, and uh, look forward to talking with you all. I see uh, some some familiar names on our list of attendees here today. So, um, any questions or you know any further uh, you know demo information or things like that that you might need concerning Net Carrier, just reach out, and uh, we'll be glad to get that all set up for you. Yep. So with that, we'll Thanks say so thank much, you again, everyone. Laura. And uh, if you have anything to add here at the end, uh, go on ahead, or, or we'll just uh, we'll say uh, we'll say goodbye for the day. 
Yeah, thanks everyone. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you and uh, appreciate the time. And uh, yeah, please reach out if you have any other questions or comments. Have a good have a good day and week. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks again, everybody. Bye. Take care.